Yes, my name is Henry Björklid and I have made this Anka Lampi. It's um, how to learn Finnish through pictures and uh, voice. I mean, there is this MP3 recordings and text. So, uh, the first page upper side looks like this. And uh, I just put the next slide. Uh, here is the first lesson. We have audio. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, the slow one here up up and and down here is the fast one. The slow one means that uh, every word has a four second uh, pause. And uh, the, the faster has uh, one one second between the words or or sentences, and you can also download. We come to that. You can download everything. Everything is copyrighted except these pictures that I have got permissions for. Uh, with, uh, for educational purposes only, so you can you can download even them, but you can't uh, cut them out from this content. Okay, so it begins with uh, I just in English. This is an orange. This is a book. This is a fish. This is a dog. This is uh, orange. And uh, uh, after that, there is this is. Uh, and whatever it is, the picture uh, 40 maybe of this, everyone understands that uh, it is uh, as a substantive, the next one, the, the fish, the frog, the car, the bird, and so on. And uh, then you can train these words like here. And uh, now this is a still picture, so I can't use it, but but uh, when I put my cursor on this 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 arrow on on this uh, sentence, mikä tämä on? What is this? Um, you see the answer. But this is just uh, for training by yourself. Uh, here is it's the bottom of the page. Here is you can download it in PDF. Everything print it out and download these uh, slow ones and the fast one audios as well. And then you can put this in your telephone or whatever and uh, study study in the bus or or train or whatever where you don't have this internet net connection. And uh, it's also copy left it. And uh, let's go further. Uh, when you print out these PDFs, uh, and you get this kind of papers, and you cut it in half. Then you write in your own language. Here it is in Sweden, Swedish. The här en apelsin, the här en bok, the här en fisk, and so on. So the student, the undependent on what is his mother language. He looks at the picture and decides what it is and writes it in his own language. And thus he got the vocabulary. And then he folds it in the paper here in the middle and look at the Finnish, Finnish or whatever language it will be, but uh, in this case it's a Finnish course. So they look at that or the student look at that, and uh, if he doesn't remember what is Sammakko, he just checks it out and so on. When he is quite sure he knows everything, he turns it so that he sees only his own language, the Swedish in this case, and then he takes another paper and begins to write there in Finnish what he remembers, but he doesn't remember. It's always, you can't remember everything and you make mistakes. And these that you don't remember or the mistakes you write three times just to just to learn them. And then you check again. And you can check from up to down, from down to up and so on. Um, 
uh, this is the way that I learned about 250 words a day when I studied English. I'm a school dropout. I, I hadn't, <laughs> I didn't learn languages, but after that I have learned many when I understood how I should do it. Okay, that's another story. Here is about the licenses, and um, you now you get this different in your own language, probably, and these licenses. So it's, I think everyone knows. But then I have this kind of <coughs> uh, open closed. Uh, open the book is open, the book is closed. The lock is open, the lock is closed, and so on. Just a serious because all these these uh, substantives, uh, these uh, like I book and lock, uh, the student already know. This is uh, lesson two or three or something like that. So these kind of things I have, um, where I have collected. Uh, then they learn, or the student learns the colors, and um, some new words, but mostly the colors. After that, he learns the numerals from 1 to 10. And after that, we be, can begin to train uh, a cloud, two clouds, and so on a battery, two batteries, and so on. And um, after that, he knows the word tomato. He knows the word plate. Uh, so under this picture could be the text in Finnish, two tomatoes on a plate. And he would understand it. Of course, it's also audio of everything. So he, he will, will learn it. So it's it's not uh, fin the Finnish language is very hard to learn, uh, and Finnish is not my my uh, mother language. Uh, my mother language is Swedish. I'm a minority here in Finland. Okay, but that's not uh, important. Anyhow, so uh, then I have uh, quite a lot of this dictionary uh, where you click here. And you get all these uh, conjugations from this word, kelastua. It means become yellow, or or okay, it's, it's about. And then I have this wiki dictionary and um, uh, free uh, dictionary, verbix, and so on. Uh, it's just hints for the for the guy that is uh, studying. Uh, here is more of this, uh, these um, conjugations, and uh, this is very typical. This is, I think, uh, lesson seven or something. Well, everyone understands this. This is a ring. This is the names of different uh, fingers, and so on. And here is the human face, and so on. So it should be. Now, uh, the new thing is that the teachers, I mean, at the schools and institu institutions and so on, they can write to me, explain with five, six pictures this, uh, this word or that word and so on. But I come back to that. Uh, here is the, the list of the words uh, after, I don't know, this is uh, lesson five, may maybe. And here is this uh, um, links to the site where they are explaining it, it anywhere more. And then there is, I use Weebly. And in Weebly, you get this kind of search box. So when uh, the student sees the word tehty, and he doesn't understand what is this word, or um, it has been already, but he doesn't remember. He writes it here, and it will be like this, so tehty. So he sees that in what, uh, this is inside Uncle Ampi, it's not the internet. In uh, lesson 14 it is, and 18, and this with no title, these are the 
PDFs, uh, so it's the same. It, this this is PDF 14 and so on. This is PDF 18 and so on, something like that. Uh, and um, here is then a typical page made of made of wood. This car is made of wood. This tractor is made of wood, and this tractor. This is my son. He makes of wood whatever. Ever, uh, this is birch. Um, he makes these kind of things, and uh, this is of pine. This this uh, window, and uh, I just have uh, here is what he has done now. Last thing, uh, it's uh, okay. I call it about Greece because Hellas, because everyone wants something from Greece. Uh, they are very bankrupt, and everyone is robbing everyone. Okay, that's uh, and then to wink. Here is winking, and um, from this picture, when when this guy winks to that girl, and he is jealous. This this egg here. So I had to explain jealous, and uh, this is now jealous, and this is jealous. I hope people understand from this. Okay, but um, that is not the thing. The thing is that when you put inside pictures, uh, text, uh, whatever, it's not allowed always. But there is, uh, there are sites where you can get get these kind of pictures that you can a little bit do. Uh, then I use, uh, let's say, dramatic pictures uh, when I find this kind of of uh, free pictures that are nice to okay so that it it's about to get this sada it's to get to get twins to get money uh, to get a medal uh, to get a child uh, to get a present and to get uh, okay uh, he, he has won something and uh, he got the bone this dog so it's it's like this. This is to give give a kiss, give water to the dog, give an orange, and so on. And uh, here is then a typical for refugees because they have to learn when they go to doctor they undress and they are there alone many times. And the doctor says that. Uh, lie on your stomach or lie on your back, and they have to know these kind of words, uh, what the doctor says. So it's it's not like uh, Jill and Jim going to school. It's more more like that. And here we have again uh, umbrella open, umbrella closed, and uh, my wife comes home, and uh, these kind of pictures and. From here we come from the wedding. There is a page about wedding, uh, all the pro, the whole process, and um, so I came to this cake uh, wedding night. That is in Finnish. It's very hard to pronounce, I know. So after that, I explain what is ue, what is night and night and so on. So it's it's like this that it flows a little bit. Uh, now, if you want, uh, if this text, Tama Oppitun Tiele Vela Valamis, it means this uh, lesson is not ready yet. Okay, those that uh, study Finnish, they know, and the teachers know what this means. But I have a lot of these that are not ready yet. But anyhow, that was not the point of this picture. The point of the picture is that you can. Um, you can right click on any page and save as and you have it in html uh, and after that you can put uh, everything on on uh, download all sounds or or these uh, trainings and so on exercise and practice and uh, and uh, made a cd uh, or dvd of it and um, after that, you can do whatever with it. I mean, you can give it to your neighbors or you can sell it for a good price. I don't care. The only thing that is important that that you give this website uh, website uh, address because this continues all the time. 
I think I stop uh, only when I have some 7,000, 8,000 pictures because I have I have a lot of pictures that I have got uh, uh, more than 100 photogra pho photographers has given their their uh, promise or permission to for educational purposes only uh, to use their photos and I put their name here. I have a lot from Balticum uh, and uh, this uh, Balkan, Balkan states, you know, and uh, so on, and from Russia. And, uh, and now we will have these real flashcards also. Uh, Quizlet uh, have, you can put here pictures, uh, whatever language and uh, of course and finish on the other side and so on. Here is two games also uh, that are quite good word games just to quite fast learn learning these things I tested with French and and uh, I learned quite fast. Uh, the only problem is that they have um, how to say machine voice you can't uh, you can't um, download or upload um, your own voice but i have discussed with them and they are thinking about it that every teacher could upload their own voice and uh, that would be great because finish uh, done with computer it's not easy to get get it right and so so that is and uh, this is what what was this uh, first thing here that I spoke about that uh, we have teachers we have teachers for, from different countries or or uh, different languages they make a wish list I want to that you explain to fly here breakfast tomorrow seem to be whatever uh, uh, they they want to 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 uh, so that I, I fix the pictures the students can also explain that okay I want the, or we want the breakfast word explained in Finnish and uh, then there can be groups of people that uh, makes the takes the photos or or I search them on the internet and um, or they can draw them drawings are good makers and doers they are students hobby people and need a hobby concerned about the youth uh, open source fanatics like me teachers unemployed like me nothing to do with youth uh, this kind of people can can uh, be here in any language it doesn't matter what language they speak they they make the pictures then they uh, send these pictures to the site makers uh, okay I am now the only <laughs> site maker but I hope that there will be more languages we make uh, uh, st standard and make it through that and then I in reality I put it uh, for the teachers check it it's okay then I put it on the site and uh, uh, now uh, all these uh, what I use these programs they are all open source or free programs so that anyone the students in Shanghai University they can begin immediately to, to make this in Chinese they use the same pictures I, I give them for for educational purposes only and uh, or they gave the text to me but uh, as a uh, Will uh, no, uh, it is uh, language uh, lingua franca. We need to use English because I, otherwise I don't know where to put this or that. Uh, so I think this is the last picture. No, here is okay. We can standardize anything. Uh, uh, first, we need to make a course about how to make courses. I mean, how to use computer and and that we use always the same programs otherwise we will have problems I can't read this you can't read that and so on 
and we can make uh, courses about multimedia, t this and that, in computers, woodwork, I can make you uh, a picture, uh, like a comic book with many pictures, how to make a table of birch, or I can put a video, and so on. And uh, then we just alter the text, and it's in any language. Uh, and um, okay, you can read yourself because it's it's quite because I have very little time, ten minutes. I think I stop here and take questions if there is any. Okay, Henry, uh, thank you. Um, we did have a question um, from uh, Terry, um, who's at. Uh, British Columbia um, in Canada, and uh, Terry, do you want to yeah. speak up? You can grab a microphone. Hello. Terry, you are on, I think. Okay, but I see the, the question here, is Danish available? Yes, that was her, her yes. um, question. Okay, I have only finished now, and the next I will do is Russian. But uh, if anyone will would like to do their own uh, own uh, language, they can do so. But I haven't find uh, find. Uh, anyone that makes Danish. It's, uh, I understand the language, but I can't pronounce it so well that, that uh, it's, it's not, no use to learn my Danish. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so that's the... That's the but uh, we just use the same pictures, alter the text and MP3 audio. And uh, then we have Danish. Yes, is there right. any other? Yes. Um, Carrie, did you have, uh, did you want to ask anything further about that? Okay, she said thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, Henry, I was a little bit, I, I, well, I wanted to clarify something. So at the very beginning you showed us um, a website called Ankalampi. Yes, this is. Um, in, and what, I'm not sh what's the difference between that and the Weebly site? Uh, nothing. It's uh, Ankalampi me means uh, the duck pond, and you are swimming in the language. Uh, you get a bath <laughs> inside the language. It's just a Finnish expression that okay. uh, you are bathing in a language. Uh, I mean, it's everything is in Finnish. Um, it's it's um, like this that when they uh, when we are are uh, teaching uh, refugees, it's forbidden to use any other language. We can't use English uh, because then these guys that come from uh, another country, they are just that, uh, okay, it's very easy for those, but not easy for us, and so on. It's, uh, so we teach Finnish in Finnish. And uh, I know that in Sweden they teach Swedish in Swedish, and so on, because uh, the refugees in one class can be from 13 different countries. Uh, when my wife yeah. was, uh, it was 12 countries in that, that uh, classroom. I yeah. see. And can, do you know who um, uses your site? Um, is, it, is it people who... <sighs> Who are coming in to find jobs, or um, do you do you have a sense for um, are they adult learners, uh, young people? Um? Yes. Uh, well, I can see that that in on Monday Monday mornings uh, because all these schools or institutions where these refugees learn Finnish, uh, they have classrooms for with computers. So I can see that nine o'clock uh, some classes comes in because it's it's a steep upward <laughs> going up. But mm -hmm. I, I have something like uh, pupils per day, something between 120 and 250. Um, but of course there is. Uh,
some 30, 40 that are just coming inside the, the uh, and goes away directly. <laughs> but uh, but I have something like that. But when I get Russian language, after that I have a lot of uh, students because uh, Finnish is a very small uh, small language and so on. But we have inside European Union, we have 24 official languages and this can be made to any language. It's just to alter the text and the uh, voice. Oh, very interesting. So you plan to do Russian um, in the future? Yes, yes. I think I begin something like well, I don't know when my wife has time because she is Russian and uh, her two daughters lives here also and uh, and, uh, and so on. So I have people that can read read it aloud and uh, okay to to translate this. It's not a big deal and so on. So it's 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 not. Uh, it's just that I put the the text here. Uh, in Russia, and uh, then my wife and daughters and uh, the younger daughter's husband, they just record it. I use Audacity the program for cleaning up the the uh, voice and so on. So it will be it will be okay. Okay. And uh, if uh, if anyone that speaks English is interested, I am very interested to get that kind of people reading and proofreading. I can translate translate everything to English, but uh, I need proofreading and that someone re reads in every all text. Oh, in so the you microphone. are looking for volunteers to help you do an English uh, site as well. Okay. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. Yes. This is all about volunteering. Do you, do you want to put your email address in um, the chat window so that uh, yes. people? It, yes. It, because people will listen yes. to this recording this later and perhaps might contact you as well. Yes. These wood carvings are just amazing that your son is working on. <coughs> yes, yes, he is, uh, he is quite amazing. The thing is that uh, they cost too much. This took 400 hours, this took 800 hours to make. And, uh, okay, you can just imagine what they cost. Yes, after and, <laughs> and most of it is so, hand work or, um, or, or is it power? Handwork, oh boy, uh, handwork, yes. Handwork. He, he, he makes everything by hand. It's, it's uh, not no machines used. Okay, uh, some, some, something is uh, uh, polishing and this kind of things are made with the machine uh, in the end and so on. But otherwise he's carving yes, by see. hand. Uh, these are some German guy has made these tractors and automobiles. The they ones on top, great, yes. Great yeah. pictures. Yes. No. All right. So it is like. I want to see if there okay, are any so other questions from our participants. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you, Terry, for. They are outstanding. I think so. I'm a very proud <laughs> father. <laughs> well, um, Henry, do you have any concluding remarks um, before we stop the recording? Mm, well, let's say like this. Please take contact with me and, uh, and all people that want to standardize learning. Because in, in small languages, in English you find anything on the internet. But uh, for the English speaking people the problem is that there is too much. You don't find the right things. But if we standardize how to make these and uh, make uh, so that it's easy to make to any language, that, that would be very good. And uh, there are probably already many 
sites that are collecting, uh, collecting, um, but everyone is doing his or her self system. I would say that we should standardize, but please contact me. We can discuss through Skype or whatever and, uh, and uh, see what we can do. Thank you very much. All. all right. Thank you very much, Thank you. Henry. That was a very interesting um, presentation.